Hey everyone, and welcome to What Did I Miss? Since Alex Kurtzman was hired by Paramount to create and develop new Star Trek projects for the network, a total of five series have been produced since 2017. Each series, starting with Discovery, has tried to carve out its own niche in the Star Trek universe while also referencing and even recreating many characters to include in their stories, some of whom are now central characters on one or more of these new series. With 2023 right around the corner, and new seasons of each of these series on the frontier, I thought it would be fun to try and pick out each and every legacy character that has been brought back so far, which means I'll be looking at the aforementioned Discovery, as well as Picard, Strange New Worlds, Lower Decks, and Prodigy for returning characters. The only rule I decided on was that I would only include characters that actually did something in the new episode, but that I would not be including every time a character is casually mentioned by another. So I didn't include things like B4's unassembled appearance or the assortment of skulls in the dystopian future shown in the second season of Picard. Characters that have been shown in trailers for upcoming series that have not yet been released at the time of making this video will be included, such as the main cast of The Next Generation, who will also be appearing in the upcoming third season of Star Trek Picard. With all these characters, I'm sure that I missed at least one, so if you can think of a character that I forgot to mention, be sure to let us know in the comments. During the video, I will try and count them all up to find out which series has had the most legacy characters return, and the answer may surprise you. Also, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, which help my videos get out to way more people. I thought the best way to do this would be to group the characters by the series they had originated from, so we will start with the pilot episode of Star Trek titled The Cage. In this episode, Captain Pike, Spock, and Number One all debuted, and they all appeared in the second season of Star Trek Discovery as supporting characters. They were then, of course, given their own new series, Strange New Worlds. Also, the character Vina and the Telosian known as the Keeper were brought back for the Discovery second season episode titled If Memory Serves, and events that occur after the cage, but before the original series episode titled The Menagerie. Now onto the original series, where we will start with the main crew, and none other than James Kirk, who appeared in the season 1 finale of Strange New Worlds, and will be appearing in more episodes during the show's second season. I just put out a video about what to expect in the second season of Strange New Worlds that you should definitely check out after watching this video. The pilot of the Enterprise, Ikaro Sulu, returned as a vision to Ensign Brad Boimler in the third season Lower Decks episode titled Crisis Point 2 Paradoxus. And Uhura was also created in animated form on the series Prodigy for just one episode, but she is one of the main characters on Strange New Worlds. Both Dr. Mbenga as well as Nurse Chapel are main characters on Strange New Worlds after first appearing as reoccurring characters on the original series. Chief Engineer Scotty was recreated as a hologram on Prodigy, and he was brought back in live form on the series Strange New Worlds. However, in Strange New Worlds, we only got to hear his voice and see his arm during a possible future timeline. Aye, that's the one. This is where the auto repair was getting hung up. Pretty fused. I'm an engineer, not a medical worker, Mr. Spock. Now on to some other officers that served either on the Enterprise or were shown during this time period. Transporter Chief Kyle is a character that appeared in a few episodes of the original series, most notably Mirror Mirror, and has been reimagined as a reoccurring character on Strange New Worlds. Also, Ensign's Robert Tomlinson and Angela Martine were recreated for the Strange New Worlds episode A Quality of Mercy, which itself was a reimagining of the original series episode that they first appeared in, A Balance of Terror. That same episode featured a character named Commander Hansen, who was also recreated for the aforementioned episode of Strange New Worlds. Ensign David Garovic, who appeared in the original series episode Obsession, was referenced in an episode of Prodigy titled All the Worlds of the Stage, where we not only learn his fate, but hear his voice recorded on a distress call. The only other officer that I could pick out from this time period was George Samuel Kirk, who appeared as a supporting character during the first season of Strange New Worlds after first being introduced in the original series episode Operation Annihilate. I've already mentioned that Spock has returned, but his parents, Sarek and Amanda Grayson, were also featured in the second season of Star Trek Discovery. Spock's one-time boo to Pring was featured in the Strange New Worlds episode titled Spock Amok after first being introduced in the original series episode Amok Time. Her side piece, Stan, was also featured in the same original series episode as well as the Strange New Worlds episode titled The Serene Squall. Rounding out Spock's family, his half-brother Cybok was featured at the end of the same episode of Strange New Worlds after first appearing in the film The Final Frontier. Now onto some other miscellaneous characters that first appeared on the original series, including Harry Mudd, who was played by Rain Wilson for two episodes of Discovery after appearing in two episodes of the original series and one of the animated series. The Guardian of Forever appeared in a two-part episode of Star Trek Discovery titled Terra Firma after first appearing in the original series episode The City on the Edge of Forever. Landru, a sentient AI that first appeared in the original series episode The Return of the Archons, also made appearance in the Lower Decks episode No Small Parts. 
The Romulan commander, as well as his first officer, appeared in the aforementioned Strange New Worlds episode, Equality of Mercy, after first appearing in the episode that it was based on, A Balance of Terror. One character that almost tripped me up, and no, that is not a Trip Tucker joke, is Zephyrin Cochran, who most people believe first appeared in the Next Generation era film, First Contact, but he actually first appeared in the original series episode titled Metamorphosis. However, the version of the character from the film First Contact is more like the one that appeared in the Lower Decks episode titled Grounded. And the last character from the original series era that I could find in anything new was the punk on the bus character that first appeared in the film The Voyage Home and then was once again played by Kurt Thatcher in the second season of Star Trek Picard. From the original animated series, I could only find two characters that were referenced again. The first being Robert April, who was mentioned on Discovery but appeared as a character during the first season of Strange New Worlds. He first appeared in probably the most well-known episode of the animated series titled The Counterclock Incident. Also, the creature Cool Cool Khan appeared as a hallucination in the Lower Decks episode titled Mining the Mind's Minds after first appearing in the animated series episode How Sharper Than a Serpent's Tooth. Now onto characters from the Next Generation series and movies, and as I'm sure you can guess, there have been quite a lot of them. Jean-Luc Picard, Data, Will Riker, Deanna Troy, and Wesley Crusher have all already appeared during the first two seasons of Star Trek Picard. And Beverly Crusher, Worf, and Jordi LaForge will be joining them during the show's third season. Guinan also appeared on the second season of Picard after appearing in 29 episodes of The Next Generation as well as two films. Sonia Gomez, an ensign that appeared in two episodes of The Next Generation, eventually was promoted to captain and appeared on the Lower Decks episode titled First First Contact. Bruce Maddox first appeared in the Next Generation episode titled Measure of a Man and then appeared again in three episodes during the series Picard's first season. Elizabeth Shelby first appeared in the TNG two-part episode Best of Both Worlds and like Sonia Gomez eventually got promoted to captain by the time she appeared on Lower Decks in the episode titled An Embarrassment of Duplers. Edward Jellicoe is also a veteran of another two-part episode from the Next Generation catalog, that episode being the infamous Chain of Command. He has appeared in the latest trailer for Prodigy and will be appearing at some point in the second half of the show's first season, much like the character Thaddean Okona, who will also be appearing on Prodigy and first appeared on the Next Generation. His character also appeared briefly during the same episode of Lower Decks that featured now Captain Shelby. The final Starfleet officer from the series that I found was Morgan Bateson, who first appeared in the TNG episode Cause and Effect and then was seen working for Starfleet Intelligence in the Lower Decks episode titled Grounded. There are a few other miscellaneous characters from this era that have appeared again, such as Leah Brahms, who like many of the characters on this list, appeared in an episode of Lower Decks after appearing in multiple episodes of The Next Generation. The former Borg drone Hugh made a return during the first season of Picard after first appearing in three episodes of The Next Generation. Speaking of Picard, his parents Yvette and Maurice were basically reimagined as characters that appeared in the second season of Picard after first appearing as Visions to Picard in the Next Generation episodes Where No One Has Gone Before and Tapestry, respectively. The only entity in the universe that knew Picard better than his parents is probably Q, who made his return during the second season of Picard after first appearing in the pilot episode of The Next Generation and then many other episodes of the series, as well as appearing on Deep Space Nine and Voyager. Armis is another villain that was introduced in the first season of The Next Generation that was revived, first appearing in the episode The Skin of Evil, and then the entity returned in the Lower Decks episode titled The Spy Humongous. Two more TNG villains will be making their return during the upcoming third season of Picard, Lore and Professor Moriarty. Lore having first appeared in the episode titled Data Lore, and Moriarty first appearing in the episode titled Elementary My Dear Data. Speaking of villains, the Borg Queen who first appeared in the film First Contact returned to plague Picard and humanity once again during his show's second season. That was all the characters that I could find from the Next Generation era, and if you are counting at home, then you already know that both the original series and the Next Generation have 24 characters that have appeared again. Deep Space Nine and Voyager do not have anywhere near that many, so let's go over those now. First, from DS9, both Quark and Kira Norris return for an episode of Lower Decks titled Here All Trust Nothing, which is really a fun episode, and if you're going to watch one episode of Lower Decks, I fully recommend that one. Morn also makes an appearance in that episode of Lower Decks after first appearing as a background character in 93 episodes of Deep Space Nine. A holographic version of the character Odo was created for the Prodigy episode titled Kobayashi, which was done by using stock voice material from his time on DS9. Also, General Martok returned for an episode of Lower Decks titled The Least Dangerous Game, albeit as an automated likeness of the character, after appearing in 22 episodes of Deep Space Nine. Next we have Voyager, who has seen characters return to almost every new series. A holographic version of Catherine Janeway returned as a character on the series Prodigy, and then later in the first season, the actual character was featured as well. The first officer of the Voyager, Chakotay, 
was also shown as a hologram and looks to be returning fully later in the show's first season. Security Officer Tuvok appeared briefly as taking part in a covert mission during the third season premiere episode of Lower Decks titled Grounded. Voyager pilot Tom Paris also returned for an episode of Lower Decks that aptly titled We'll Always Have Tom Paris. Seven of Nine, or Seven as she is known now, returned to become a main character on the series Picard and there are rumors that she will be joining or leading another live-action series after Picard has ended. And finally, Icheb, a former board that was rescued by the crew of the Voyager in the episode Collective, returned for the Picard episode, Stardust City Rag. Now on to characters that have returned from the series Enterprise. <laughs> yep, that's right, I cannot think of one character that originated on Enterprise that has returned in any new series. Shame on you, Star Trek writers, for not using any of these characters, and I hope that this is a mistake that is rectified in the very near future. Well, those were all the characters that I could find, but let me know in the comments if I missed any. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time on What Did I Miss?